subcultures and countercultures, a group of people within culture that differentiate themselves from the larger culture. Review the supplemental materials in the module on D2L. According to Dick Hebbage, a subculture brings together like-minded individuals who feel neglected by societal standards and allows them to develop a sense of identity. This is from his book, Subculture, The Meaning of Style. Identifying subcultures. Similar characteristics may include clothing, music, and language. Counterculture. A group whose values and norms of behavior differ substantially from mainstream culture. Countercultures are often political in nature. Countercultures typically reject mass culture, class, and politics. There are phases of how countercultures are absorbed into the mainstream. Typically, it starts with a rejection and then growth partial acceptance, and then complete absorption into the mainstream. There's a really interesting video in the module for this week that talks about the difference between subcultures and countercultures. Be sure to take a look at it. Countercultures can have a huge influence on dominant culture. Examples, beatniks, hippies, LGBTQIA community. The differences between subculture, sub meaning under, and counter meaning against. Subculture shares some qualities with the mainstream society but has its own beliefs, values, and behaviors, whereas countercultures reject mainstream values and norms and create new ones. Some examples of subcultures, goth, punk, and some ethnic groups could be considered subcultures. Some examples of countercultures, hippies, beatniks, Occupy Wall Street, Hell's Angels. Our assigned film this week, Paris is Burning, takes a look at a distinct subculture in New York City in the 1980s and early 1990s. Filmmaker Jenny Livingston, in an interview with the New York Times, talks about her intent in the documentary Paris is Burning. I wanted to give people in the world of ballroom the opportunity to speak in the medium of film. My intentions were to tell the story, to tell it well, and to have other people recognize the complexity, brilliance, usefulness, and beauty of this world. Paris is Burning represents the drag ball culture in New York City in the 1980s, a distinct subculture of gay men of color that's since been absorbed into the mainstream and popular culture, its language, slang terms like throwing shade, and also represented on television in shows like RuPaul's Drag Race and Pose. Critical Writing, Choice 1 Paris is Burning represents the drag ball community in New York City in the 1980s and early 1990s. Do some research into this subculture. What areas of popular culture have profited from the language and performances presented in the film? Choice two, compare and contrast the representation of the subjects in Paris is Burning with subjects in the films of Marlon Riggs. How does being a member of a subculture change the voice and point of view of the narrative? I thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a productive week.